Okay guys, we are playing Hagrow Survivors and it's night. Basically, I'm gonna show you the shop, right? Everything is upgraded right here. And I'm gonna show you the upgraded version of Kagura. You can start, you have three levels right here. Forest, Demon Realm, and Demon Castle. Let's do Demon Castle, it's much more funner. This is basically open ground, you don't want the forest. That's what you play in the beginning of the game. You could basically unlock these, but I already unlocked all of it already. So we're just gonna do difficult, difficulty level 4, pretty hard. I found like the forest today. I did a lot of those demon castles. This is the beginning. Of course, we're kind of OP right now. But if you do want to watch the demon castle, I have a lot of maps about that one. Right here, where we should get critical impact, perfection aura. That's kind of useless. Um. I'll do just to reduce right now because all the skills are bad. We don't need it. Increase gem gathering. Pay basically uses the katana don't need. And I'm just gonna do increase because they're both all three are pretty bad. We're just gonna take it. Summoning a Voltex around. That's not good. That's a that's defensive. But the forceful blows of the katana is not good, so we're gonna go with the dark fire. It's just a shield around you. You don't need it. And basically we're just gonna walk around big circle. I will just get the shadow strike because that's pretty bad. They're gonna have a crate up here. So let's get the crate. Hot dog is one that heals you up. Incendiary talisman is actually pretty good. Thousand cherry blossom you do not need. I think that's pretty much useless. You can reroll if you want. But this is the forest map for Kagura. There is a crate up here. Let's get that even though we don't need it. Submarine Typhoons, that's pretty slow. You don't want that. We can reroll if you want. Right now, I will say I will do the reroll roll right now. And this is what you want right here. Lightning, chain lightning, this is good. So we have our abilities. Not the best, but we're gonna go through this as fast as possible. Then, there's a chest. Easy. They're gonna attack you. Chain lightning is the best. Level that up as fast as possible. Another one go down, and there's another crate right there that you can actually unlock. Hopefully, it'll be a hot dog. Incendiary talisman is really good. In the beginning, it's pretty good. Destroy this crate. Katana sucks. Let's get the dark fire because the battle is missing. Instant uh, talisman. And after this, I like the life leech. That's decent. We don't need reduced damage. I just got it because heck of it. You don't need to go this way. If you want to, you can. So there is a crate just right there, and there's a crate inside here. But since it's closer, life bleach is good for at least the force level. We're gonna go this way. These gnomes are pretty weak. You can just stand like this. If it does hit you, you can do that much damage depending on the difficulty setting. Or slow four right now. Get the hot dog. I do encourage you to get speed movement because it does make everything faster. And you can just pop out through 
maximum settings and abilities leveled up. I should see I am not trying that much, I'm just walking straight. Falling through because the chain light kills just about everything and everything in my sight. You want the wide sweep? That is really good for the talisman. You don't need the magnet to attract those gems. Basically useless right now. So I just gotta walk around for another 26 minutes approximately for the boss and all the things. But we put on the difficulty, difficulty settings level 4. Life Leech. Because Dash sucks, Katana sucks. We're gonna level that anyways, but. We don't need it. We can live up later on. So we're just gonna walk around like this. Kinda collect. As we go. Talisman. This it covers a wide range when you get a talisman. And of course there's the perks that I can bounce off the walls. That's what you want. You don't need that hot dog, you can just sit there, sit there if you want, you can collect if you want, because the boss is not going to be hard, not in this level. Let him attack us, that's how much he does, if you do let him attack you, and get all the abilities right here. Get our hot dog, because we allow them to get us. Points you don't need. You can fall on this road if you want. Tab, you can look at the map. This is where it is right now. You don't get the map not in the early game. You eventually find it. But since we played this already, we basically have just about everything that you need. And we're not actually trying to just crawl through as fast as possible. We still need to wait 30 minutes for the boss to appear. But at this level, of what I currently have right now, I guess I can say that I can still go the boss pretty fast. So when I go this way, you don't want to go up right here. You if you go right up here to that end, get that and go back down. I showed you guys, ready? For this road, you just want to make a complete circle. Lethal uh, precision is pretty good, so let's get that. Compared to all three forces uh, that I have. That's what I'll pick at least. Then we're gonna go right here. Get that magnet, tracks everything on the map. Dark fire. We are gonna go in the corner on the top right now. Let's get the dark fire. Just level up the dark fire because it's basically a shield. That's what it is. So we're going down here, right? Go down there, get this, get that, get that, and we're gonna go back. That's what we're doing right now. Do you need to answer is no, but if you don't do that, you're just gonna walk in big circles. White sweep is good. There's no wrong or right choices of what game style you like to play. As long as it works and you win, that's about it. You got a hot dog, you know you don't need any HP. We have our damage reduced. Level 2, we have maybe one, 4 more. Let's get that, and once we have that, we can take it down real fast. Let's get the rest, Katana. The Katana does the least amount of damage because it's really basic up close. They're not gonna hit anybody. Even the Dark Fire is, is meh at best. Okay, right here is lethal precision is what I'm gonna get right now. Let's try to go offensive because we don't need defensive too much. White sweep, it's good. 
but I reduced cooldown and change pretty good too. So battle readiness it is. We can do a little bit more damage all the time. We're gonna go straight up. As you can see. We're just right here. And then we're gonna go up here. You don't need to go into that top corner on the left side, but that's where we're heading to right now. We have time because there is about 20 minutes left that we need to kill. We took all that damage. That's okay. We can actually kill that. Shadow Strike is what I'll get. I don't like dash abilities. For me, it's useless. Skill it. The rest of the abilities. Talisman too. So our talisman is maximum. You can still level up a little bit after this. Get the hot dog and let's go powering up. There's some crates that you can get. And when we're going to border once, because we don't need to actually explore it too much. When we go back that way, we're just gonna get the hot dog. Because we're not gonna go back there. So this is the top part of where you want to go right now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get today because we're just gonna do a run by right now. That one's cherry blossom is useless. He's no position. I'll do the white sweep right now. Almost killed me. Okay, um, dark bottom. We might die in this one. And add fire. Uh, the lightning chain. Chain lightning. Add fire. That is really good to have. We don't need to worry about our HP. Because there's a hot dog down there. See those little fires? Yeah, th that does help. And of course the talisman. Yep. Let's go get our hot dog south from here. It was shame we got right now. We stupid too. Good thing we have that reduced damage. Add fire. Like the incendiary ammo basically does damage over time. And it does help though. Let's go ahead. Keep doing that ring right there. Get the rest. Double up our skills. And we're gonna get our hot dog. Don't worry, your hot dog does not disappear. Once you have a hot dog right there, it's gonna stay there until you get it. We're gonna go down. Let's get the haste. Haste is good. You do not need to get all the these gems. Let's get the majority of it. We'll be fine. And you see our roar that is S tier. And battle readiness is F. Our roar is S tier right now. Get the hot dogs. Chain lightning. Always get chain lightning and fresh boulder. Third, these the ones stack them up to do a lot of damage. Talisman is decent. Anything that is basically elite, you do not need. You leave the position. I do not like the dash dash. Use this. And uh, shadow strike. Get the hot dog and let's go out of this place right now because we're down here right now, so we're gonna go up. Life leech. Once you have that up, you cannot die. 
But the thing is, we're maximum level already. I already sold to the shop. That's why we're playing this much, it's not a challenge. But once you play this game, you can basically start leveling things up. It is actually really fun. But once you're basically maximum, I don't want to get it right now. Why sweet? That's good. And that's what happens when you have maximum level. Haste. Damn it. have, but it's not needed in this round of the course. Let's get the rest of the gems. And you see, we're gonna head down again, all the way down here. We're gonna do a U and then keep going. Doesn't matter when it's basically 30 minutes, the boss will pop up whatever you are. But for right now, you just want to level up slightly. Get some gems. And um, don't, do not eat the hot dogs. You just want to destroy these, these crates and do not eat the hot dogs. Now we have about 14 minutes to waste. Keep an eye on the timer. What? 30 minutes? That's what the boss is. So what we're going to do right now is basically Draw all those crates and the hot dogs do not um, eat it. If you don't have our movement, I do recommend the movement because you can you can come from ground. Why sweet? Leech knife, let's do a leech knife, even though we don't need it. We're not SS terror anymore. The sea of the roar. Let me see the bottom of his head. ass right now. Let's kill him. He can't do a lot of damage. He can actually have direct hits. Which he did. Stay on the path right now. These guys are pretty easy, but the hot dog did not get it. Just save the, the rest of the hot dog. You see hot dog? So the crate, not collected. And when the boss comes, just basically walk around the hot dog when you do need it to eat it. Another hot dog, so we don't, we don't want that. These guys are easy. Let's get our knife in. So we check our gems. Katana sucks, leave the precision. Easy. Points. So we want to go back for Good, yeah. At least one hot dog, that's about it. Okay, I'm gonna do the life leech. Ace is better though. Let's do the offensive here. We wanna kill the boss as fast as possible. We're not worrying about the boss that will now. If we can kill it, if we can kill it, that, this is more dangerous than the boss. So, he can actually do more damage when he's in that hole. If he does it, he's done it. Let's get a shadow strike and there's white. White food. Get the rest of the skills. For 20 minutes, believe it or not. That supposed to be the hard part. If you don't have any upgrades, then you will have some hard time actually doing damage, you know. But the dark part, I don't recommend not for high tier. It's only good for a shield, as you can see. Chain lightning, that's what I'm gonna get. Let's get that. Looking for those crates, 
so you have a lot of hot dogs to eat when you do need it. Life leech. I do like leech. A little bit of everything. But in the end game, when you're like. Stand here. I fire. Now you see our, our aura is the SSS turret. This is when the aura is the most strong and most powerful. Right, you don't need there is a crate down here. Chain Lightning. As you can see, we got hit. So we got. Oh, S turn now. S turn. One S turn. A turn now. So once you receive damage, you become weaker. Add fire. I don't see the walls right now. We're at B rank, yes, B rank here now because we got too much damage right now. Use the precision. Not again, no, it's stuck in the wall. I hate when this happens. You can't do much about it. You don't wave around like this. But be careful when when it gets stuck like that. Don't don't just stand there. As you can see, we are right here right now. So we can go up right here, and then when we go around, we might do right, be right here. But you want to be close to the hot dog. So basically, right now we're gonna go back south. Six minutes. Battle readiness. And get the remaining skills necessary. We want to be close to hot dog. Yep. They attack us, the boss, but it's pretty much weak. Lingering presence is good, get that one. SSS tear now because you just don't receive any damage. Don't get hit of any sort and then you will be using your strongest bow. At fire. And then basically you gotta walk back and forth. Let's go back to the huddles. And that guy do not let me. Lingering presence is the best. Kind of stuck in the middle of it. Great equipment. You usually get three, and I use three. It's random though. Again, we are going back to the hot dogs. There's one right there. Chain lightning, get that one. Got the hot dogs. Save it for later. Then we are going to basically move our one right here. There's one hot dog right there. There's another hot dog right there. But let's destroy the crate. But it's not. Get the points because you're getting the points on the same time. You don't want that. And basically, we're just gonna kick it back here because we have the most hot dogs in this area. Battle readiness. That's what you need to take down the boss. But any load on what you want is fine. I'm just gonna tell you what I do to take down the boss. But I'm basically OP right now. If you're just doing this grinding, lingering presence, or you're just grinding, right? Well, you're not gonna pass it, not by the first try. Keep that in mind. You can see that is a magnet, but has a hot dog right there. So you don't want to actually take it. White sweet. 
we're gonna keep it a little bit. This should be a break right here. This boss is weak though. Don't worry about him. And then Living Presence is one of the best for this map. Reduce damage is it's, it's good. Stop break. Let's get this. And we can actually just call them with our katana. Battle. You want to be close to that night and hot dog later on. We have less than two minutes until the boss appears. Let's do the battle readiness. That's more offensive. If you want offense more than defensive, but we do have some damage in reducing. And we do have the dark bar and shield. Let's do haste. One minute to go until the boss arrives. You can do this too. Lingering presence. They do stack up eventually. You don't need to collect more gems, but it does help eventually. Kind of lagged out on us right now. I'm not sure what happened. I don't know what happened, but uh, 29 minutes in, there you go. Something just happened. That was our stream live right there. Usually that doesn't happen, Talisman. I was afraid that. That's like I had to crash and I can't show the boss. That'll be really, really bad on my end right now. Five seconds left and the boss will show up. Lingering presence. Doesn't matter what, what you get at this point. So basically the boss is right here. And this is what happens when you have maximum skills and damage. He does do a little bit of damage, but yeah, just keep it in the dark fire right there. Do a lot of damage to it. He's rolling me away from there you go. That was pretty darn easy. And a difficult setting was number four already. And I'll see you guys next time.